Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to episode 5, and we're going to be tackling Press Garden, which is one of the new zones, and it's really actually one of the more interesting, silly styled ones, I think. Because we're styled in a newsroom, a print press, if you will, which is exactly what it's called in real life. And I don't know why I'm trying to sound cool, but yeah, we're going to be star we're gonna be hanging out in a print press. Pretty neat, huh? I did not expect this for a Sonic Zone, but honestly, now that I see it, I can't unsee it. It's really cool. You have guys that play with saw blades. You have the things from uh, Launch Base Zone here. You have an inkwell that dispenses robot stamps that are bunnies. Oh yeah, this is real fun. Hold on. Even, it, honestly, even if you pause some of the newspapers, it's littered with a bunch of Easter eggs. Like, you can see Sonic in one of them. I think you can see Knuckles in one of them, too. Which is pretty neat. So, um, one of the main gimmicks is... Here's the Inkwell robots I was talking about. They're bunnies. But one of the main gimmicks of this level is you're going to want to find these light bulbs around here and pop them open, or destroy them, and they'll either open little doorways, or they'll do, uh, help extend little platforms. They're essentially your ways of getting around. If you ever can't figure out where to go, take a look for one of them. Also, these are familiar to Mega Man players. Or at least they should be. Oh god. 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 Made it. So, uh, yeah, these, uh, uh, little grips, you can't hang on them for a long time, because if you do, that happens. And it will kill you. It's not fun. Goodbye, Inkwell robot. Goodbye, light bulb. Hello, light bulb. Another main gimmick are these little uh, conveyor belts that'll shoot you places. They're pretty cool. They're pretty fun to use. Don't get crushed. Inkwell stamp robots! And spikes. Lots of spikes. And doorways. And saw throwing robots. Lots of saw throwing robots. Also, these uh, springs, they kind of act like trampolines. I don't know how exactly you're supposed to get up them, though. But once you do... They also kind of jet you in place. It's pretty fun. Once you've got the uh, hang of down... Or once you get the hang of using them down, they're actually pretty cool. I'm guessing T means turn based and A means always. Nah, that would be smart. Hey look! It's like a jetpack, only not that cool. So I think we're getting near a uh, a giant ring, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure we are. It's either a giant ring or the boss. I'm pretty sure it's a giant ring. The boss of this place is really weird. Like, really weird. Ah! If I remember correctly, and I'm talking about the Eggman boss, not the, uh... Hey, I wonder. Cool! You can burn through these boxes. Cool. And an extra life to boot. Create expectations. 
That was terrible. That was really terrible. I just need six more rings. Two more rings, and then I'll have an extra life. Asking you should receive, I guess. Yeesh. This place is like a roller coaster. I'm just gonna go ahead and touch that. So yeah, this is the mini boss. He's pretty interesting. He destroys crates, and once he does, his saw blade gets destroyed. Which means you're free to attack him. But, you kind of need to lure him into destroying the saw blades. And once you destroy him, he starts flying away. If you can take advantage of invincibility with frames, though, if, 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 if you can take advantage of I can't talk frames, he's really easy, though. And we're just gonna hide over here. Yep. That was smart. Come on. You know what? Screw it. Invincibility frame suicide! Because it was the last hit. And so that takes care of the midway point of Press Garden. What are these blue rings for? Does it double your points for the rings you get? I don't know, what, is, what are they for? So this is Press Garden Zone 2. This is completely different from what I expected it to be. If I'm being honest. I was not expecting a winter level out of a press factory, but I mean, hey, who am I to judge? Also, Frozen Sonic on this is amazing. This level has quite a few gimmicks, mainly ice spikes that you can melt if you have a fiery shield. Uh, a lot of things are going to be encased in ice blocks. A lot of the enemies freeze you, although being frozen doesn't take rings away from you. Also, you're going to encounter a lot of frozen ice blocks with rings in them. Or, with uh, with spikes in them. You can hit them once. Once you do, if you land on the spikes, they will damage you. And then the spikes will be destroyed. But it's still a pain in your ass. Also, Eggman Wood Chipper. It provides a short platform for you to stand on until the uh, tree gets destroyed, and then you're on your own. But it definitely makes for an interesting mechanic. See? Frozen spikes. Definitely, usually not worth your time. Also, those are woodpeckers that drop bombs on you. But they mine from trees. Yeah, I don't understand it either. So. I mean. Hey. Whatever works, right? Hello. I'm invincible. I'm super fast. I can run at the speed of sound. Am I going the right way? Is it so bad to just want to be able to find a good ring? Well, hey, that worked. I just want to find a giant ring. Is that so bad? Prick! Let's see, what's up here? Oh, damn it. Damn it! 
Jumping on these guys is going to be a pain in my ass. Okay, let's get through this. Sorry, I got this. Well, at least I wanted to pretend I did. We're just going to drop down here. What the hell? Are these things for? You know what? It's not worth it. We're just gonna run on top of this thing. Or not. You're not worth it. You're fake news. I feel incredibly lied to. Also, for the record, this soundtrack is amazing. Oh yeah, they also have ice springs in this level. Yeah, don't ask, I, I don't know either. So this is our Eggman boss fight. He's really weird, because if you attack him head on, he will freeze you, solid, like that. What you want to do is he's going to leap at you in a circle. He's going to spin to you like he's homing attacking. And you want to jump into him while he's in the air. Once you do that, you will stun him. And then you can start damaging him. It is a lot harder than it looks. He has a pretty big tendency to just throw stars at you all the time. Kind of a pain in the ass. But if you stick with it, you can put him in his place really easily. This is only the second time I've actually ever fought him. But with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. And I will see you in the next episode. When I forget what we're tackling next, but it's something. And I will see you there. Oh yeah, Starlight Zone. Because Metal Sonic. Also, what is with that gem?